Your life will be full of peace and joy, and the home which you are establishing will abide through every change and struggle. So if there is just cause why these two should not be joined together, let them speak now or forever. Hold your peace. The vows that you're about to make are not just commitments to be easily cast aside, but are a lifelong pledge and promise to each other and to the Lord here today. Ecclesiastes 4.12 tells us that a threefold cord cannot be broken. And what you do here today does not just involve you. It involves God at the center. So, Sue, I ask you, do you take James to be your wedded husband, to have and to hold for, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto pledged by thee today? James, do you take Sue to be your wedded wife, to have and to hold? From this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. Till death do you part, according to God's holy word. Do you pledge in faith today? Amen. James, do you have a ring for your bride? Of course, I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> oh, that's right. Sorry. Take this ring. The ring is a symbol of God's everlasting love. It has no beginning and no ending. It's a perfect circle, a picture of the love you should have for each other. James, will you take this ring and place it upon the third finger of her left hand? And as you do, repeat after me these words. With this ring, with this ring I thee wed, wed, and with it, with it I, bestow I bestow upon thee, upon thee my pledge of faithfulness, and enduring love, enduring love to have and to hold, to have and to hold from, this day forward. from this day forward. Sue, please take this ring. Place it upon the third finger of his left hand. And repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring I thee wed. I thee. And with it, I bestow, I bestow upon thee my pledge of faithfulness and enduring love to the Lord to have and to hold from this day forward. At this time, we'd like Pastor Andy, Bible Baptist Temple, to pray and bless this union. Heavenly Fathers, we come to you in prayer tonight. Lord, thank you we can be part of this special day. I pray that you'll be with this new couple, this new uh, marriage. And Lord, I don't know what they're going to have to face in their life, but we pray that you will be their strength, you will be their help, their help and their direction. You always bless them, help them. And Lord, may they serve you better together now than they were individually, yes. that they can accomplish more and honor you more with their lives. Thank you, Lord. So please bless this marriage now. In Jesus' name I do ask it. Amen. Again, I, I restate the verse. Ecclesiastes 4.12 tells us that a threefold cord cannot be broken. If you are a member to keep God first and intertwine between each of you and include him in every part of your marriage and your lives together, Amen. They will be blessed, you will be blessed by him and joy shall fill your home. You may now kiss your wife. Thank you. 